This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, the subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. It meant to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, MULN has positive catalysts. I believe, I tell you all that every day that I believe MULN has the potential to be a really great EV company. I think they have a lot of things going on that can really push them to the forefront of the EV market, okay? But, and I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell MULN. This is not what I'm telling you. What I'm telling you is the, 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 the guy with the big mouth, the guy that claims he has this technology that doubles, triple, quadruples battery life and blah, 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 blah. Mr. Lawrence Hatch is back. Yes. Yes, the guy who MULN cut ties with back in June or July is allegedly back on the team. And he put a tweet out that said he's getting the, the EPA stuff done that he is back with Mullen, and then Mullen CEO kind of verified that. Now, he says he has all these contracts all over the place, that money's coming in hand over fist. Let me tell you something, and this is just my opinion. Lawrence had, is he a good catalyst for Emmy Wellen? I personally don't think so. And it has nothing to do with him personally. It has nothing to do with the fact that I think he talks too much. I believe that Lawrence has, if he has this technology that he claims that he has, if he has all this, this EPA certifications that's coming down the pipeline, then he should lead with that. He should lead with proof of EPA certification. He should lead with copies of these alleged contracts and all this big money he's coming in. He should lead with verification of the technology. As far as I'm concerned, with everything I've seen with this guy, and this is just my opinion, he is more talk than action so do i think lawrence has coming back on the muln team as good i don't think so but he must be bringing something positive to the table for muln to get back in bed with him but we're all human beings and i'm sure there's a lot of us who got back in relationships with exes, even though we knew it was not good for us. Not saying MULN and Lawrence Hatch is a bad relationship. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think it is good for Lawrence Hatch to be back on the MULN team? And do you think that will be good for the company and good for our stock price. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.